What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Bowman Sterling Baseball 12 box case break. Uh, pick your team number three. Um, X Line's in here, Joe, and I and I told him that you know he, goes, he, he said that uh, uh, if you were on Fanatics, I'm like yeah, you know you're training Chris for the new guy, right? Yeah. And it was funny. He said, "Let me go back up to the comment." He said, first tip, like you know, time you know, giving them tips and training them. Don't be a Raiders fan." Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I was like, I think Chris is a Dolphins fan. So. Chris is a Dolphins fan. But come on, that that was just. That's that a little was, blow right there. That was just a cheap shot out of the blue. Yeah, that's so like that was just like a drive-by. That's like, like AFC bang. West, like like slander right there. Yeah, just got caught the crossfire there. It was just a. It's, it's like got, no one brought up Raiders. Yeah, no one brought up Raiders. I'm an innocent bystander, and here comes the X line. Bang bang. Damn. It's harsh. Alrighty guys, here we go. The signing prices. Alright, so again guys, also remember, take advantage. <laughs> Most of the customers here uh, did get 30% off, guys. Really great deal on a lot of teams for the teams that were remaining. Sorry to interrupt, Jason, but yeah. so how, how do you how do you do when you were reloading a figure team, do you go do you go down this list or do you go down that list? I go down on that list. So I go Arizona, then I search for Arizona there, scroll up and down. Oh no no, I just go by that list, but I just look on the my iPad. So you start with Brave. Yeah, I look at that. And I look for Brave, then you go to Marlins. You yeah. look for Marlins. Because if you notice, it's only like one or two that are near each other, yeah. and then the rest of them aren't. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's a little annoying, but no, yeah, I go by the computer list. Okay. Because then I freak myself out, and I'm just like, fuck, I gotta go back and check yeah, that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I should, I'm going down that list. Yeah. And then I'm looking for it on. That way you kind of already know that you I know I'm not bouncing around. Mm -hmm. okay, that makes sense. Great. Yeah, if you notice, like, a couple of them are, are always nearby the same division or the alphabetized, but not all of them. It's just a couple of them that are off. I don't know how you just weird. I mean, that must be like. <laughs> I mean, that's something they could easily you fix, right? On that, yes. Absolutely. On that, it's just um, like, they just said, who cares right now? It's just like, <laughs> deal with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on that Fanatics Live event on Tuesday at USC, one of the engineers was there. I should have told him. I know, right? Like, can you please fix this? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> no, actually, we're just expanding, like, breaking hours and wanting to be more, more on hourly and then obviously like seven days a week on all, on all our platforms really Lemieux, Yager. Take over. Now, okay. 
people did Rex talk about the definitive on the other side? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, right? I was like, I kind of want it to match. Like, where maybe they just give Altani a cut autograph. <laughs> yeah, it's like, weird if it's like hard It's like one's gonna be a hard sign, and the other one's gonna be like cut on the bottom. But either way, it's kind of awesome, though. I think it's really awesome. It's like this year's, uh, I think it is Prism. It's gonna feature two player color blasts. So, like, it'll be like Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow, which is gonna be a little different. In the future, multiplayer, so. Also, so funny, Darren Veld was kind of being a little bit of a hater with the, the, uh, Acuna that sold today in a private sale from Golden. The Acuna Super Factor first sold for 400000 mm -hmm. And he was like, in 10 years, that card will be closer to zero than a million dollars. And then oh, someone yeah. and then someone said, it's already closer than that today. Because <laughs> it's at 400000 <laughs> It's closer to zero than it is a million. Oh, I was like, come on, bro. Relax. Because he didn't have that I'm gonna rip four boxes at a time, guys. So I'll get one more right now. Nelson Rada for the Angels. Angels is Alan Murdoch. Yeah, that's like such a big viral video. That uh, that's from that's Chris from Cards Infinity. He was like actually one of the first early early breakers uh, in like the breaking world. And as you can tell, 2009, right? Manuel Beltre out of 99, but yeah, that, that video is iconic. Blue Jays, Jason K. Jet Williams to 99, and how about a uh, Tavares to 100 there for the uh, Atlanta Braves? Alan Murdoch with that one.
Brooks Lee to 100 and a nice junior coming arrow. DY for the Rays. Nolan Jones to 50. And Zach Nieto for the Angels. Going to Alan Murdoch. All right, so there's your five autographs there. Nice ones to start off. You got attack out of 15, Corbin Carroll. I know, remember that? Dude, that shit was sick as hell. I love that old icon. Tavares there again. Cam Collier to 100. And Brooks Lee. For the Twins. <laughs> Man, Arnold. Parada to 150. Mets, John. Ooh, Nolan Gorman. How about that? X line with the Cardinals out of 10. How beautiful that looks. Gabriel Martinez for the Blue Jays. Going to Jason K. Jace Jung and a Jet Williams. How about that? Back to back autographs. Might be a bonus auto. Detroit Lorenzo. And then, of course, Jet Williams, Gold, Mets was John G. All right, Corbin Carroll, Jacob Berry from Miami. Going to Jeremy. Gavin Cross. With the Royals and then George, the Colorado Rockies, and then Jeff Gordon. Oswaldo Cabrera to 50 for the Yanks. Tristan with that one. Samuel Zavala there for the Padres. Montesino. Padres. Another one there for Damien. Jackson Chirillo to 99. With a Vinny Pascantino to 125 for the Kansas City Royals. Be rough. There you go, man. On the board. Three on one, baby. Holiday, let's go. Brian with the Orioles. Lazaro Montes. Mariners. I with that one. Cam Collier there for the uh, Reds. Josh Exline with that one. Man, this freaking Kings overtime game is freaking nuts right now. Oh, man, it's over. Man, the Kings should have won this game. Young Kel Fernandez. 
And a Jackson Merrill. For the Padres. Damien. We got a James Wood. And an Ellie De La Cruz. Let's go. Finally, I pulled Ellie De La Cruz. It's been a while since I pulled him. 58 out of 99. Cincinnati Reds, last spot, Mojo. Is he offsides? <clears throat> Good job, Exline. Thanks for taking that last team right there, man. You basically got him for 40% off, bro. And you hit an Ellie. True, it's last spot Kelsey Mojo. 60% of the time hits every time. Oh my god, it's over again. <laughs> No way, Jimmy. Well, now you gotta tell him that you have to buy the Reds and D-backs if they're still available in number four for you. Take a picture of that Ellie and be like, have a nice life. Oh, sorry. No, because I pulled an Ellie right now and Jimmy's like, no. I was not joking. I had the D-backs and Reds in my cart all day. My idiot brother talked me out of it. And I told him, tell me that because to buy them for you now on number four. <laughs> he's like, he's dead to me. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> Dane. Daniel. Daniel at that point. Yeah. Freaking Daniel. Freaking D Yeah. D cons. Different kind of D. I need all day breakfast. Bro, a sausage McMuffin like slaps. Bring back all day breakfast. And it's not even that bad for you, honestly. No, it's a fresh egg. Yeah. The sausage might be the worst thing. Yeah. But it's not like it's huge portions. It's no. like the perfect size. A little hash brown, a little orange juice, maybe a coffee. 
That's a great start to your day. The fact that they're two for five fifty now, man. Yeah, I mean that that's just They were two for two. <laughs> At one point. <laughs> it's true. In recent memory. <laughs> I remember my nephew at one point when he was getting when he was a kid, he would call it two for two. I'm like, bro, that's not what they're called. But he just remembers them being two for two. Oh, man. Well, 2023. Right. It's gonna be two for six bucks by next year. And it still won't be all day. I know, fuckers. I mean, I'd go two for ten if they did it all day. <laughs> <laughs> for real, right? At that point, yeah. Like, like listen. Just crank up the prices, do it all day. I think that's what they should do, honestly. They should just crank up the prices at, at after breakfast What's hours. What's the reason why they don't do it? I don't know, I mean, I just feel like... Well, call, up, call up Vanessa's friend. I know, right? Why don't they do that? Because like, they did it for a while, and it was just like hotcakes and McGriddles. Yeah, I'm not saying full and, menu. Yeah, and I'm just like that. I'm not saying full breakfast menu, but it's just like, give me the sausage Jack McMuffin. I don't know day. if it's because they can't do both at the same time, but I'm sure, dude, the Jack in the Box and these places can, they can. Yeah. Yeah, Jack in the Box puts a fresh egg on there. They put all day breakfast. They do, uh, a lot of places actually do all day breakfast now. <laughs> Anybody know why McDonald's don't want to do all day breakfast, guys? They're losing. They're losing out on me and Joe's money. Well, I don't really eat McDonald's much, Josh, to be honest, but I think their sausage McMuffin breakfast sandwich is still like unbeatable for like a... <coughs> Like a fast food breakfast sandwich, honestly. I, I honestly, I mean, I'm a big dude, obviously. I love food, but I'm actually, I don't really eat McDonald's as much anymore. Um, the only thing I've ever really eaten a lot more of McDonald's was just their breakfast, really, honestly. Their burgers, I just, anytime I eat it, I feel disgusted. Uh, if I eat their fries, they taste great if they're fresh, but then it, I, you feel disgusting after. You know. But... Their breakfast, man, just seems to hit for me, man. It's just so good. Like, I've, I haven't found one other, like, breakfast spot, like, that's not fast food that has been, like, hit, you know? <laughs> I personally like those, like, sausage, biz uh, like, muffins that the Starbucks has. Because my wife just likes the coffee there. But, again, they're not McDonald's. <laughs> I, I... If there was a fast food place that I ate the most, it was actually that, Jimmy. I ate, I ate Jack in the Box a lot because my mom used to love getting the tacos there. My brother loved the Jumbo Jack for a long time. <laughs> my dad actually loved the spicy chicken sandwiches from there. And he also liked to get the Southwest chicken sal uh, Southwest salad. Vanessa says it's some some sort something to do with the grill and the amount of space at McDonald's. Yeah, I, well, yeah, Ramon, Ramon used to work at McDonald's. Oh. I'm sure he knows too. But yeah, he says that it's probably a lot of work, honestly. And then, yeah, to maintain and then, both. And then it's just like you're sitting here with a full grill of hamburgers, and then yeah, all of a sudden, exactly. Oh, here's a breakfast order. Then I got to carve out some space to pop an egg yeah, on there. Yeah, that's probably what it is. And yeah, you can't anticipate how many people. Have a second breakfast grill. That's what I'm saying, bro. Just like a smaller version. Then when there is an order, you just pivot to that real quick. Yeah. Pop an egg, put it in that little ring. That makes or at least do breakfast circle. like super late night. <laughs> yeah, I get the chai tea there at Starbucks. <laughs> I can make a really good coffee. Jackie wants fast food for the oh, if you can only choose one. Yeah, he likes Jack in the Box. I, I told him I used to like Jack in the Box a lot. I think for their all day, for their, their, the variety of their Dude, menu. they have freaking teriyaki chicken bowls still, don't they? That, yeah, Jimmy yeah. said the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. Just for the variety and the all day breakfast, you kind of have to do it. Yeah, they have chicken bowls there. They, they really try. They, they go yeah. all ham. And they, you know what? They got some good curly fries. Yeah. I thought at one point, was that, was that it, Jimmy? Uh, Jack in the Box had like a, like a, um, what is that other? Not Monster. What's the other energy drink? They do Red Bull and like freaking lemonade drink at one point. I was like, damn. They did do that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I tried their Monster that. tacos. Their their Monsters uh, Angry tacos the other day. They're actually not bad. I think they're from. I think they're a San Diego company. I think my, my are they? Yeah. California. Their tacos are good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I mean, I've always liked those. 
But yeah, I was just trying to accent like I I don't really eat McDonald's as much for dinner, it's more their breakfast I love. But I don't really eat it as much because I don't wake up before ten thirty. Or at least I'm not up like out 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 and about by ten thirty. Yeah. Only five that is true. <laughs> you want egg rolls? Oh, yeah, that's right. They have egg rolls there, too. That's right. Wow. They have, yeah, like, their right. munchie meal. I've never had an egg roll there. Yeah, they have, like, their munchie meal. You have, like, a grilled cheese cheeseburger. <laughs> that is true. That is definitely for, like, the late night crowd. Um, sour, a sourdough jack. I yes. Think I actually, when I go get Jack in the Box, I actually get a jumbo jack with sourdough bread instead of You can do bread. that? Yeah, you can customize the bread. But can I get an ultimate cheeseburger with sourdough bread? I do that too. What? That's the two burgers I only eat there, yeah. Oscar, call us. <laughs> yeah, just tell me you want sourdough bread. <laughs> I thought I the sesame seed bun was my only choice. <laughs> no, no. You can get sourdough bread there. Wow. Sammy Munoz. Yeah, that's actually the one I use all the time. I try not to eat that stuff. <laughs> I know, but I might Now that I know that. I kill Fernandez. There's one right down the street from my Oh, man. You know, after a couple of adult beverages, and you're just like, oh man, pop, yeah. through, pop through that drive through. Brady House! We, we, need, like, we need a Jack in the Box sponsorship. I know. There's one right here down the street. Right down Aviation. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think they close early, though. Do they close early? Yeah. I think they close like at 11. So, like, right when we get out, like, it's like almost impossible to make it in time. <laughs> I used to get a lot more Jack in the Box breakfast. I used to get their uh, sausage croissant. That's what I used to get. Yeah, I get the... Tovar. Yeah, I think that's what I get. Bastidas. No Jack in the Box in Wisconsin? Oh, man. I know. Actually, they're not in every state, actually. Wow. I thought it was a national brand. I mean, I guess Isaac. it is, but maybe not, in, not in every 50... Extreme sausage is what my wife gets. That's the, what she gets. I get the Supreme Croissant sandwich nice. or something like that. Alex Ramirez, <laughs> the one we have. But that's a fresh egg, right? They pop a fresh I egg. I think so. It. It's a fresh egg. Ooh, they do a good job with that. Breakfast burritos. The coffee is not as good as the Yeah, the coffee is definitely not good. Yeah, the coffee is not good. Ooh, Ooh. Look at that. Jackson Holiday to 99. Holiday. That he is uh, he have such Brian. A baby face? Yeah, he, he looks, looks, such like, a he kid, looks like he's ten years old right there. I, I didn't even realize at one point that he was Matt Holiday's kid. Yeah. Yeah, this case has been bonkers. You can actually still get the tacos two for a dollar if you go to their app. They actually only offer that digitally. But yeah, I tried their Monster Angry Tacos. They're supposed to be spicy, which they're not even spicy, but... But, um... Yeah, if you use their app, their digitality, you can uh, still get them two for one. I think now they're like two for two. Willie Finass. Garrett Mitchell and Reggie Crawford for the Giants. Matt Arnold. Oh yeah, he looks like a little kid too. I mean, he is a kid, right? But Cam Collar and Rafaela at a 25. I love the blue, actually. The blue looks freaking awesome. Spencer Jones. Yeah, another fast food breakfast sandwich that I usually do eat if, like, I didn't cook anything at home for breakfast. Or usually I try to eat oatmeal and, like, cereal and stuff like that. But um, sometimes, like, I just wake up pretty late because I, I can't go to sleep, like, on time. When I get home, like, let's say to tonight, like, if I get home, like, at midnight, I'm up till, like, 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, <laughs> go to sleep, and then I don't wake up till, like, 11 or 12. And, you know, I get to work here by, like, 2.45 to be on at 3.00. 
So it's like sometimes I don't feel like getting up at all and just making anything. So there's times where I still do get some type of fast food. <laughs> and certain certain Carl's Juniors actually only still serve certain breakfast items throughout the day. But the one I actually like, <laughs> which is not bad, is um, the breakfast burger that they get at Carl's Jr. I think it's great. I mean, it's not like the best one you're going to get, but I tried it a few years ago because someone recommended it. And that one's not bad. Hi, Spencer Jones. <coughs> Kyle Stowers. Our Yankees having a good break with that, Tristan. And Jordan Beck. Kevin Cross. And Henry Bolt. Whoa. Whoa, redemption. Tucker Tolman. Toronto Blue Jays, Jason K. All right, let's see the redemption. Maybe you're right. Shereel maybe coming up. Speckle. Wow, it's Drew Jones. Tristan with the Diamondbacks. There you go. So we got a Drew Jones and an Ellie De La Cruz in this case, guys. Man, why is this so bright? Stop. Stop. So bright. Jason Chirillo. Jackson Merrill in 99. Lower Paguero for the Pirates. Jeremy with that one. Wow. How about another Drew Jones? This time it's just a prospect refractor. So the other one was Speckle. This time just a 1 to 150, I believe. Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jimmy. I mean, maybe remind your brother he's dead to you again. Jason Chirillo and DePaulo for the Dodgers. Dodgers, that's Steven. And Jace Young to 125 for Detroit. All righty, guys. <laughs> still have four boxes to go. We're still, we're still have one third of the way to go. Do -do 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 -do. This is actually by far the best case I've done. I haven't really had good luck with Sterling. This has really been my kryptonite. I haven't pulled anything crazy out of this stuff. And uh, finally getting some good prospects.
if you don't mind me asking, Jamie, are you, are you guys like same age? Like you guys are not twins, right? And who's who's the older, younger brother? I don't think I've ever asked that question. Gotcha, two and a half, gotcha. So yeah, even worse then. Big brother's gonna have to beat up little brother. <laughs> Seahawks games, Jimmy, up there? Yes, you follow the Seahawks too, right? I forgot the Eagles play up there this year. <laughs> they play legit on mine and Vanessa's like uh, five year anniversary. Kind of want to go. Although I don't know if she wants to go though, but. Oh my god, that is right. So you got him over here, and then he's... <laughs> I remember that, actually. I remember he literally came, like, literally, I remember he was thinking of, like... I don't think he ever thought of driving down, but it was, like, so cheap to just fly in and out. Same day, so he did it. I remember that, actually. I know Chad. Freaking Chad. You definitely do, buddy. I remember the time that Chad actually came to pick up that Joe Burrow. Uh, I think he came to pick it up. I had just got my wisdom teeth taken out that day. Oh snap, that's been a while then, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I figure Seattle games are fun. I mean, I'm sure it's mainly <laughs> Seattle, right? I mean, I'm sure the fan base is still pretty strong. It's not like here in LA where, like, you go to a Rams Charger game and it's usually taken over by the opposing team. Yep. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. All right, last box. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I feel you. I mean, I, I, I've gotten like, I like to experience certain things live. That's why I still plan to. I always go to at least one Eagles game a year. If they come to the West Coast, I go. If not, then I go to Philly or something like that. But I mean, just nowadays, it's just so much, <laughs> so much better to watch it at home, right? <laughs> you can have multiple TVs up, or you know, obviously split them, watch all the games, relax, and just be in the comfort of your home rather than like freaking having to go to like basically like you said all day thing you know you're gonna spend more money right and then uh you, you're most likely if you're like gonna have people yelling all over your all over uh all over yourself so it's like but i don't know i've i've always loved to just go to at least one i mean i don't know if i was a big Rams fan or a chargers fan i would have season tickets by now but Oh yeah, so you're actually yeah, you're forty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that is kind of a drive. Ah, <laughs> gotcha, man. Weekends is like you gotta cry. Yeah, I think you know what's funny about that. It's like you know, not every customer of ours, but most customers most likely do have you know family or kids or you know just in general, maybe married, dating. So it's like I feel like group breaking. Like don't get me wrong, weekends are fun and could be busy, but I feel like everybody just like loves breaking during the week because it gets you through the week, right? And then. Come Saturday, Sunday, you, you just, like, don't have time, <laughs> you know, right? To watch and even break. So it's, like, I feel like group breaking is so great during the week, and especially during football season. Now that we're in the football season, you know, from, like, September to, to obviously, February. Because then you have all the sports. You have football, baseball's in playoffs, basketball, hockey. It's, like, literally the best time, you know? And it's, like, i rather <laughs> – I'd rather, obviously – Enjoy my derm. I would get me through the week with like sports breaking and all that stuff like that. And then weekends, you got to cram in a lot of things, right? Whether it was family, kids, <coughs> events, Don Kong. Gavin Cross. But then there's those people that don't have anything, like, and they're just all they want to do is break, so, <laughs> you know. That's why I always tell people, like, Saturdays is usually a tricky day because, like, there might not be a lot of people watching at this at the hour, but since I can see the back analytics, then I, I know that people are literally still buying on the go. Jacob Berry. We got Mason Hour. Figueroa for Texas. Rangers going to Angel. Josh Young. 150 for Angel and then Michael Arroyo to 150 <clears throat> exactly that's what I'm saying yeah Brooks Lee Gabriel Gonzalez Jason Chirillo and a Drew Gilbert for the Astros. Jeff Lefko. Gavin Cross to 75 for the Royals. With Elijah Green for Mark and the Nationals. Michael Harris. And then a Alex Ramirez to 99 Speckle. Manuel Beltre. Blue Jays Jason K. 
Now, one thing I hope to change right now, guys, I have yet to hit like a dual or triple autograph out of Sterling. I'm probably like literally the only breaker here. As I said, Sterling has been like my kryptonite, guys. I have not done well, but this is probably one of the better cases I've had. So hopefully we can end it off with like a <coughs> multi-auto. If not, we're leading to it for the next case. Mikey Romero. Ooh, we got a black coming up. Black, baby. Woo! I spoke it into existence, guys. Wow! Ellie De La Cruz, Gunnar Henderson, Jackson, Shereel, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I literally just said that I hadn't hit one yet. Man, there's gonna be one, two sad people, one happy person. So Ellie, for X-Line, Gunner, Brian, Milwaukee, Lauren, b -Rub. Good luck to the three of you. Oh, I can't believe I spoke it into existence. I can't believe it. Finally, a massive case for me. Jason Chirillo to 75. And Yankel Fernandez, nice one there to 100. For the Colorado Rockies. Rockies is going to Jeff Gordon. And Brooks Lee to 75. For the Twins. Minnesota so Twins, Matt Arnold. And Zach Nieto. For the Angels, Alan Murdoch. Nice break, Alan Murdoch. Woo! Finally got my good case for you guys, man. It's been a while. Do I even see a red over here? Mmm, that's not red. I think it's pink. Yes, your Mercedes. Jacob Barry to 75. And Edison Paulino. PJ Hall, or DL Hall, I should say. Simone Juan to 150 for the Mets. Eric Brown Jr. from Milwaukee. B Rub. Hunter Brown to 150. And ending it off with a nice little Tamar Johnson. Jeremy with the Pirates. Wow. What a case, guys. What a case. So, obviously, I will be top loading all these autographs, but I'll quickly go through them as a little quick recap. All right. So, Nieto, Brooks Lee, Yankeel Fernandez. Ramirez, Speckle, Elijah Green, Gilbert, Gonzalez, Arroyo, Figueroa, Auer, Cross, Duncan, Jace Young, DePaula, Paguero, Jace, Jason Chirillo, Tolman, Bolt, Beck, Spencer Jones, Spencer Jones again, Rafaela to 25, Crawford, Finas, Ramirez, Bastidas, House, Young Kill Base, <laughs> Munoz, Merrill, Collier, Montes, Jackson Holiday, Pascantino, Montesino, Zavala, George, Barry, Jet Williams, Color, Chase Young, Martinez, Parada, Brooks Lee, Tavares, Nieto, Caminero, Tavares, Beltre, and Rada. And then these are some of the bigger, bigger hits that I toppled right away. Drew Jones, Refractor, and Speckle. Jackson Holiday to 99. Ellie to 99. Owen Gorman to 10. Corbin Carroll. Look, I finally hit my first triple. Finally, I spoke it into existence too. Uh, Ellie, Ooh, and, oh, no, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, I'm about no. to break people's oh, hearts. No. Oh, no. One happy person. So there you go, guys. Person. Really solid Who, case, finally. Who's in so the mix? It's between the X line, X line, uh, Brian, Brian C. Wow, and uh, Lauren, B Rup. All right, all right. Good luck. Jeez. And for if like X line wins this, Jimmy will definitely be like murdering his brother. 
because he would have had the oh, no. the rest. Let's look for local news in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> local man kills his brother after group break dispute. Is it one of those bad news? Any news is good news for Jaspies? For right. <laughs> I know. Here after, are Jaspies case breaks and yeah, they're also after beach. participating <laughs> in a group break. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so is what is known as a group break. And brewers. I wonder how like local news would try to explain what a group break is, because they'd have to explain it. There was like after a dispute over a group break. <laughs> <laughs> the way they sound exactly like that. <laughs> We're here live at Jaspies. We're, here live at Jaspies. <laughs> Where there was a group oh, break yeah, dispute man. over a triple autograph card. A group break, which are <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. Good luck. I mean sorry guys, we just gotta randomize it. All right, it's a six. <laughs> At least it's more than five. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Four and a two, six times. There were Reds, O's, and Brewers. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Wow, it stays wow. with the Reds. Reds, excellent. Oh, what a no. break. <laughs> Congrats, oh my Josh. God. There you go. Oh, watch, watch her local sorry. Decons is actually in the chat oh, right now. Watch out. There you go, man. Axline, you had a break today, man. There you go. Oh, boy, Thanksgiving's going to be awkward this year. I know. For the Connell brothers. Cruz. Appreciate it, guys. This is a solid hey, case. thank you. Number four is in the store. Congrats, also 30% off. Nice break for you, man. Hey, take advantage of that 30% off, guys. It goes a yeah, long way. You save a lot, a lot, a lot of money. So 11 left. Jaspies, casebreaks.com, guys. Thank you.